planning for retirement can sometimes be like a very complex maze where if you go down one wrong or make one wrong turn, it could really have an effect on the security and the overall outcome of your retirement plan. Watch this video as we discuss the five crucial mistakes that you'd want to avoid when building a retirement income plan. Enjoy. Welcome back to the Financial Beat channel. Uh, I'm the host here, Logan Sadler, and thanks for stopping by. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, check out some of our other videos if you like the channel. As always, we're here to talk about retirement education, and something we've been on the concept a lot over the last few videos is talking more and more about retirement income planning. One of the reasons why is that's what we specialize in, and that's what our firm does, and those are a lot of the conversations I have day in and day out. But also, there seems to be a lot of questions from you guys as the viewers I'm in the comments or on the radio shows talking about retirement income planning. So I wanted to talk about the five crucial points that you really want to make sure you have covered in your retirement plan, or at least make sure you're not making these mistakes. Number one, planning for years and not decades, right? One of the biggest things I see with a lot of people when they build a retirement income plan is, hey, my plan would be absolutely perfect if these scenarios happened and if I live 10 years or 15 years. That all sounds great. My first question always is, what if you lived longer, right? When you look at a lot of you that are retiring at age 65, uh, you have a pretty good chance, according to like Corbridge Financial and a couple of these other financial surveys, that you should plan to spend at least 25 years in retirement. So there's a lot of longevity uh, concerns and really a lot of longevity stress, I'd say, that's put on the financial plan because a lot of people are not planning for a long enough retirement. I was meeting with a client just the other day where I was going through their financial plan and building it out, going through their cash flows and all the fun stuff that is that we do. And uh, I had it ran till 94, 95. And she said, oh, I won't be around that long, right? Um, I, I might live till 80 or 85. However, that could be true, but what if it's not? So understanding how planning for that longevity is a very crucial point that could have um, a very big impact if we get to that point and for some reason we didn't pass away, right? Or the plan didn't go that way. If we're still alive, we don't wanna figure out how to uh, extend that period of time of income. Number two, starting social security too early. I've seen a lot of uh, people that come in throughout the years or I've talked with where they said, everybody said you should take it at 62. So that's when I started mine or 64 or whatever it is, but not understanding the impact of potentially starting it too early. Number one, the tax impact and things that that could have on your overall plan if you're still working or had a high income, but also by taking that uh, early, that might be your only source of a pension or things like that that also might be one of your only adjusted for inflation incomes and also might've been one of the only things that had a guaranteed growth rate on it. Social security, for those of you that don't know, most of the time it grows between seven and 8% per year that you wait to take that income. So it could be a very real impact on your overall retirement plan. So analyzing that's important. Number three, assuming bonds will be a great income source for you in retirement. A lot of people out there, and uh, again, I review portfolios all of the time where uh, my advisor says, as I get older, I should move more and more into the Vanguard uh, bond fund or the Fidelity bond fund or any of these bond funds or whatever uh, type of fixed income you're transitioning to. The biggest issue we've seen with those over the last 10 or 15 years is you have seen very, very low returns or low income generated from the bond market. Not saying it's bad or not saying you shouldn't have any money in there, but just understanding that bonds are not providing the level of income that a lot of people have uh, really relied on in past generations. So understanding you might have to be a little bit more crafty when building your retirement plan and looking at other income sources or other investments that might be able to generate some a better income throughout your retirement. Number four, not understanding the impact of how inflation is gonna impact your retirement. And I've seen a lot of people where they come in with an income plan and they, yeah, I drew out an income, I got my social security, I got money from my brokerage account and maybe an annuity payment or something. But that's great. The only problem is your hundred grand a year you need now. What happens in ten years when you need one hundred and thirty grand a year? Right. Um, a lot of us are not planning for those crucial components of the income plan about having inflation go up. Um, a lot of these things that we look at in the retirement plan, factoring in a historical two percent inflation or whatnot, that all did great, right? Until the last few years where we're seeing these really, really high uh, inflationary times. Again, statistically speaking, they don't last that long. However, we do want to plan for uh, incremental increases 
to our uh, in, to our uh, in income in retirement. Number five, I want to talk about is forgetting to build income streams outside of just social security. I've seen a lot of people where they come in, they might have millions of dollars, um, they might have very, very high incomes. However, a lot of us have income that's dependent on bonds, uh, dividend paying stocks, real estate, um, a lot of these other asset classes that are great asset classes. However, the income in those could, could go up or down depending on how you're invested or what type of income they're in. So looking at things like income annuities or bond ladders or treasury yields or other types of income that's generated, but a lot of us out there when we're looking at an income plan, we need a baseline income knowing that, hey, no matter what happens in the market or in my investments, I have this income coming in. It might be a pension, social security, annuity income, things that are gonna be guaranteed uh, for income sources to help keep that income going. What I always say and I've said on here several times is, really every retirement plan is no good without an income plan, right? Because what is the income plan? The income is the gas in the car that keeps it going. You could have a, a nice Mercedes Benz, you could have millions of dollars, but if you don't have a good income plan of how to generate things, it's not going to get you very far. So understand those five crucial components and really make sure when you're going over your retirement plan and particularly your retirement income plan, having answers for these five things and making sure if you are working with an advisor or doing this yourself, making sure you're covering those five points will be crucial to having a successful and a peace of mind retirement throughout your retirement years. Hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you back here again next time with another one. Talk to you soon.